Hi guys, so this video is going to be a review of the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Celebrity Skin and I got this on a website called cocktailcosmetics.co.uk which is a website in the UK obviously that sells Jeffree Star lipsticks and they don't have all of them, they have like, they tend to have a lot of the kind of out there shades like um, I think there's one called Breakfast at Tiffany's which is like a turquoise, they tend to have like in stock um, quite a lot of like the brighter colours um, uh, but very occasionally they do restock the kind of I don't know more normal colors so it's a really good website they ship the next day the shipping was like four pound 25 I think but it did arrive at like the next morning I ordered it at like 2 p.m. the other afternoon and like next morning at like 10 o'clock it was here so I was pretty impressed by that I've been wanting a Jeffree Star liquid lipstick for so long I really really wanted to get androgyny but I kind of realized that I would never be able to get it because it's never in stock um, and obviously like cocktail cosmetics has to wait for it to come in stock in America uh, to then get some for their store so like it's never in stock it's very like difficult to get hold of so I thought I would go for celebrity skin I also do really want Gemini. Gemini and Androgyny are like my top two but this one was number three on my list and I saw it in stock the other day so I snapped it up and it was £14 plus shipping so in America it's $18 um, and they charge £14 on the website plus shipping which was another like £4 something so it was like £18 something. So this is what the packaging looks like, it's just got the pink lid, it obviously uh, comes in this box which has got like the little stars on it and stuff. I really do like the packaging, it does fit in my standard lipstick holders which is good because I thought it might be too thick. After I've put this on now and like talked about the formula and stuff I'm going to insert some footage that I filmed on my vlog camera um, of me kind of like this morning when I had it on and then when I got home and kind of like how it held up and stuff. Firstly the applicator isn't your standard doe foot applicator. Um, hopefully you can see it's got a kind of little curve in it or a little dip um, and I actually find that this makes it kind of like fits your lip shape better and it makes it a lot easier to apply. It's also got a more kind of like pointed end so it's easier for getting kind of like the edges of your lips so I do really like that about the packaging. Um, also like obviously when you open it it's kind of like springy and then it wipes off the excess product. It can get a little bit messy. I don't know if you can see like around the top of mine it is a little bit messy but I think that's a given for any liquid lipstick. Um, so I tend to just take it out like this and then wipe off the excess because the brush does hold quite a lot of product which is good. The actual product itself is really really thin so I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, but it's just a really, really thin kind of watery formula, but at the same time it's really super pigmented, which I think is amazing. I've never seen a formula like this. Um, this liquid lipstick is definitely the most comfortable, I think, that I own, that like to wear on your lips. Because it's such a thin formula, it doesn't feel like really thick and like sticky or anything. It's just like really comfortable to wear on the lips and it dries down completely matte. The one thing that I really don't like about this is the smell. It smells like cough sweets. I don't know, it's really weird, or like cough medicine. Um, I'm not too sure what the scent is supposed to be, but that's what it smells like to me. Not a major fan of the scent, but when it dries down to a matte finish, it does go away and like you can't smell it for the whole day and stuff, which is good because I'm slightly worried about that. So I'm now just going to apply it to my lips. So as you can see, just like straight away, it goes on so smooth, like I'm barely touching my lips. One thing I do like is it doesn't dry instantly, um, so if you do make a mistake like I just did, you can just take your finger and just wipe it off quickly. Shit. I just dropped it on my bed, my jeans and my floor. Thank the lord that didn't break. So now that I've applied it, I'm just going to wait for it to dry, but as you can kind of see, it's a really nice kind of brownie nude colour. I was kind of worried, like... From looking at swatches on Google, um, it did look quite pale on some people um, and I was thinking like, oh no, is it going to be like too nude? But I honestly don't think it is. Like, I think it's a really nice nude colour. This is kind of like my perfect nude. But I would say that it's very true to the colour of the packaging, so... So I would say it probably takes like a couple of minutes to like fully dry. I feel like because I've been talking as it was drying, whereas like normally I would just keep my lips like still, it's kind of like settled into my fine lines. I definitely didn't find that earlier this morning though when I was applying it. Um, 
when I applied it this morning obviously I wasn't like speaking so my lips weren't like moving around as it was drying um, so it didn't like settle into my fine lines then but obviously there's one thing to note so I have just applied the Jeffree Star lipstick and celebrity celebrity skin and I'm now gonna go out for the day but this is what it looks like like when it's kind of on and dried this is just in my natural lighting with my window um, I'm gonna just turn on my little softbox thingy um, so this is what it looks like under the softbox lighting so I'm now gonna wear it throughout the day I'm going out to lunch I'm gonna do a bit of shopping and I'm gonna come back and see how it kind of holds up so I just got home and it's been about wait let me see so I put this on at about half nine this morning it's now half four in the afternoon and I don't know if you guys can tell but it's still got a slight hint of colour there but for the most part it is all worn away that being said I did eat a giant juicy burger and chips for my lunch the burger was literally like this thick so I really had to like bite into it like using all of my lips so I'm pretty sure that's why it has disappeared um, but up until lunchtime, it would like stayed on perfectly and it was still looking really nice the one thing that I did want to say and note is that it left like I don't know if you can see this like um, kind of lighter marks like here on the kind of insides of my mouth and that's what I did notice just before I was about to eat my lunch as I was talking to my friends I could feel that I had like little like co collection of I don't know just the product had kind of like built up in the corners of my mouth oh and this is a comparison under my softbox lights because a minute ago that was my natural lights so here you can see that it's kind of gathered here. So I'm just going to try and do a kiss test now. So as you can see, there is nothing really on my hand. There is a tiny little bit there, but I don't think you can even really see it. And it does like, it still feels a tiny little bit sticky, but it is completely matte looking. And I feel like it feels really comfortable on the lips. Like as it dries, it doesn't like just shrivel your lips up. I feel like it's a really good formula. I feel like it's not a hundred percent like kiss proof um, because it does like, if I touch my finger, like it does slightly come off a bit on my finger, but like not to the extent of a normal lipstick would. I think you would definitely get away like if you were just having like a sandwich maybe that wasn't too greasy or if you were just like wanted to drink some water or something like that. I think you would get away with it and I think it definitely would stay on. Overall, I am really impressed with this liquid lipstick. I definitely want to get a Gemini and Androgyny if I can find them. If anyone knows where I can get hold of them, then let me know that is in the UK. I hope you guys have enjoyed this kind of video review if you have then please give this video a thumbs up also I just want to say thank you guys so much for subscribing like recently my subscribers have just been like building and building like so much I'm nearly on 30,000 uh, well I'm still like I still like 3,000 away but I'm nearly on 30,000 which is just ridiculous so thank you guys so much if you are subscribed and if you aren't already subscribed and you like the look of my videos and me maybe then you might want to subscribe <laughs> that would be great what am, I, what am I doing so I hope you guys have a lovely weekend there should be another video up this weekend and yeah if you are doing exams then I hope they're going okay I hope you guys aren't too stressed and don't worry guys you'll get through them it's nearly over it's nearly summer so I will see you guys in my next video bye